Welcome to the Traders Market Intelligence Report brought to you by WealthBuildersHQ.com. This update is for Monday, November 4th, 2024. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I hope it was a better day today than it was yesterday for you. Uh, although yesterday was a great day if you were on the right side of it. As we do get started, keep in mind everything we look at is for education. Nothing's meant to be advice or recommendations. If you find something you like, anything, make sure it fits your own personal risk profile and risk tolerance. All right, on to the charts. We are looking at the S&P 500. If you're not... If you've not seen these blue rectangles on my chart before, we just actually added these today. Uh, we had our inner circle um, uh, quarterly get together where we do a full one full day of training. We went through particularly the one to the right side, how I, how I personally analyze each and every day of what we do. Uh, without a doubt, uh, although the topic we had today of training was not this, but without a doubt, this was the most, um, topic that was most excited about by everybody inside of that group. They couldn't wait to see the replay of it. We wanted a separate replay, strip it out, give it to everybody is what I'm hearing. It was a great training. It basically was how I go through my day to day based on what I see inside of these boxes, what's happened in the past and so forth. For today, we're going to talk about what's happening now. We still have about uh, eight or nine minutes left until the market closes, but you can see the entire Fibonacci here. We finally failed yesterday. Big gap down, big run to the downside. Oh my God. I thought earlier on today with everything being up, we were going to see a, a better day today. Granted, we're up 21 points. That's from yesterday's close. We stretched all the way up to where we opened yesterday and we failed off there. That is not an exciting thing for me. When you look at, and I'll kind of take you a little bit into the training of what we just did today in Inner Circle. When you look at this last candle to the far right side, you know, today's candle, who won? Well, who was in control on the open? The bulls. Who seemed to handle a good part of the, the day. The bulls, it ran up. Then what? Well, the mayors took over, right, and they're back in control now. Granted, the bulls were up from where we closed, but you can't call that a bullish candle. It's up from where we closed, that's all. But it isn't a bullish candle, right? We're up for the day, but that's on the gap up. And again, there's eight minutes, seven minutes left. We don't know where it's going to just yet. But at this point, what I'm looking at is this 5561 level as support. <clears throat> on the upside is 5796 level. I think that there's opportunities for both directions. Um, and we are through, clearly through, on close, the 21 moving average now. First time this has happened yesterday and today, two days in a row. But first time it happened at all since this crossover back uh, in September. All right? So let's go ahead and look at a weekly chart. And then let's go look at the monthly chart. So on the weekly, you can see these last two candles have been rollover candles. The last two weeks have not fared well whatsoever. Uh, we're getting to the point of we're going to close about 80-ish points to the downside and close through the eight moving average, which once again is the first time it's happened since this candle back here. So it's about eight or nine weeks ago uh, since that's taken place. We have not had two bearish candles, two weekly bearish candles, uh, since we came back, you know, gap down, came back up from here, which is about 12 or 14 weeks. We've not had two bearish candles in a row. All right, we look at a monthly chart of the S&P. And what it be? It be awesome. Great long-term trend, right? Little pop-up last month, with last month, which was like yesterday, right? Last month. Little pop-up in there uh, on uh, the all-time highs. And then this month is just today. We don't really see too much yet, right? It's still kind of flattish. Nothing really happening in there, right? If we go back over to a daily chart, I want to look at the VIX. And then we'll go look at some economic reports. VIX skyrockets in flight yesterday. Man, that sucker just jumped yesterday. Big gap up on the gap down on the market and a good continuation run closing near the top of the run for the day, which just lends itself to a lot of strength for the bears for yesterday. Today we gapped down. Not surprising since we were up a little bit on the markets open. Uh, we've kind of been flattish, a little bit to the upside. Tiny, tiny, tiny wick there, but really nothing uh, standing out whatsoever. So let's go ahead and go over some economic reports for this upcoming week. So we know what the heck to be looking for. We got nothing on the 4th. Uh, the election is on the 5th all day. You're going to have ups and downs, ups and downs. Con Congress is, you know, election is there. Uh, presidential election. So PMI is at 10 a.m. So be careful in the morning if you have an open trade. Purchasing Managers Index, PMI, is coming out. We're not getting good numbers on a lot of these reports lately. They're very um, iffy whether or not they're accurate or not. Uh, then at 9.45 on Wednesday, we've got final services on PMI. 
1030, we've got crude oil inventory. They're both orange, so they're, they could have some impact, but not, not drastic. Uh, Thursday, unemployment claims is at 830 in the morning, pre-market. Fed funds rate, FOMC statement, FOMC press conference. Right now, there's still more of a uh, chance of getting a quarter point hike than a half point, but that could change, right? The presidency could change that. A lot of things could change that. But it is still looking like we're going to see a one quarter point, not hike, I apologize, drop in the market. And then uh, 10 a.m. on Friday, we've got um, consumer sentiment and inflation expectations. Uh, both, again, both orange reports, both at 10 o'clock when the market is open. So keep your eye on the market this week. Trade cautiously. Make sure you get out and vote. Have a great weekend, a great rest of your day. And I will see all of you at our next update. Bye for now.